Uh, welcome, uh, Cordell. Appreciate you uh, coming on with us, uh, Coach. Uh, or they told us you're going to be playing running back here. Um, what was that like when they first started putting you in the backfield in, in New England? I think oh, it was a Monday night game or something. I remember seeing it. It was like, oh, this looks pretty, uh, like a pretty good thing there. I mean, honestly, man, it don't matter where they put me on the football field. Man, I just go out and just try to make a play for my team. You know, they want me a running back, receiver, quarterback, tight end, whatever. They just put me out there with my numbers card. I go out there and just make a play. That's something I've been doing my whole life. And then last season, what was it like with, uh, you know, in Chicago with Dave Ragon here and then running it, you know, as much as you did, 64 times career high last season running the ball? Yeah, man, I mean, me and Dave got a, a great relationship, man. You know, and I'm, I'm thankful to be a part of the Atlanta Falcons, man, and just pre appreciate everybody, you know, giving me a chance, you know, to, for another year to play in this league. So last year, you know, that year didn't go as planned as I wanted. You know, as running back, so so hopefully this year can go go better. Thank you, Tori McElhaney, the Athletic. Hello, hello. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, I, I was just curious. You know, you, you go into this this off season, and, and what intrigued you about coming to Atlanta into a situation where you have a new head coach, you have a new GM? It, it basically feels like there's so many new things happening here. What intrigued you about coming here? Honestly, I've been in the league. This Going on my ninth year, and I feel like I've been in a, a new, new system every year. So, you know, it's crazy. But you know, just seeing what what Coach Smith did, you know, in the years he was in Tennessee, you know, he worked his way up. You know, he, now he got his opportunity to be the head coach. So, you know, that's that's. I mean, for a guy like me to been in the lead a lot of years, man, that's. You know, I like coming to new places, man. You know, I like just you know just just having fun. You know, coach. He's all about having fun, you know, just being yourself. So that's a good thing because if you, if you know me, you know, I love having fun, always smiling, joking. So you know, I'm never serious, man. So I just love having fun, you know, and Coach Mill seems like he, he can be the coach that lets you showcase everything, your personality to, you know, bring your kids to work and all that. So I know it's going to be a fun year, man. I'm excited. Nice. Uh, have you had a chance to to chat with Arthur Smith? I know you said, you know, he seems like a, a fun guy. What, what what was y'all's first kind of conversation like getting to know each other and all that? Oh, he just sat there. He just, just say, be yourself, you know, just be a pro, you know, be on time, be respectful to everybody in the building and just do your job. You know, we all have one job that's what we need to do. So, I mean, so God tell you that, you know, you can't do nothing with respect them because we all grown, you know, in this league. So I just got to take care of what you got to take care of. Awesome. Thank you. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. How's it going? Welcome to Atlanta. I want to go back to something you said about Chicago. What was it that frustrated you, I guess, or disappointed you the most last year about what happened in Chicago? Was it team stuff? Was it your own personal performance? What, if you can explain a little bit more what you were getting at with that. I mean, man, I was always taught, man, you got eyes in front of your head, see where you're going, not where you've been. So whatever happened last year in Chicago, that, that happens, man. I'm, I'm on to the 2021 Atlanta Falcons and you know, I'm here to talk about what I can do for Atlanta Falcons, not what I did for Chicago Bears. Where, I, as where do you see yourself fitting in? I know you say you can you can play anywhere, but is there a specific area where you can see yourself fitting into what Arthur Smith wants to do a little bit more? I mean, what Arthur do is is amazing, man. Like I said, that's why I, one of the big reasons coming there, man. And he's a guy, you know, he don't care who you are. You know, you be a first round, seven round, or eighth rounder. You know, he he want to spread the ball out and get it into everybody's hands. You know, that's something. A guy like me won't ability to go out there and just not just play running back receiver, you no know, be a kick returner, just being everywhere on the field, man. I don't I don't minimize myself, you know, I maximum maximum max everything that I can do. So you know, I just like like I said, I just like I like I love playing this game, man. It, it, it's fun to me, you know. It, it's something I want to do until I'm about 80 years old, you know. I don't think I ever get tired of this lead, so I love it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, Charles Odom, Associated Press. Hey, welcome to Atlanta. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate it, Bob. I, I, I wanted to uh, follow up uh, on, on D. Led's opening question about your versatility at running back, and I know you've you've said you 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 just want to play wherever you can. Now, I've never um, noticed you listed on a team roster with RB by your name. I've thought of you as a wide receiver who could play running back. Uh, does that intrigue you? Does that excite you? I mean, obviously, it doesn't bother me, man. Long long as I get the you know, just just play this game. I don't care what you list me as, man. Cause you can list me as a long snapper. As long as you get me on that football field and play and having fun, then 
You can do whatever you want to do with me, man. Like I say, the, the joy I have for this game is unmatched, man. That's, you turn the tape on, you'll see why I say that. I love, I love this game. I love having fun. And if I can follow up on that, uh, what's your thoughts about uh, joining these other names that you'll be seeing on the, um, on, you know, at the skill positions uh, for the Falcons on offense? Can you repeat that? Can you talk about you know joining such players as, as you know as, as Julio Jones and, and and Matt Ryan and the other names that are that are you know established uh, um, uh, starters on this offense? Oh, you mean Hall of Fame players? I get what you're trying to say, but nah, I mean coming to an organization like with those guys, man, come on now, they just give you uh, just give you a little butterflies, man. You know, Matt texted me when I signed there. He told me welcome to the team and stuff like that, man. So you you got to feel good about things like that, man. You got to the head dog in charge, you know, texting you and, you know, welcome you in. So welcome warm. So that feels good, man. You got guys like Julio Jones, and, you know, we can't, can't never say too much about that guy, man. <laughs> you got Ridley, man. I played with his brother and both of those guys are great. So I'm excited, man. You got the defense, you know, and all those guys over there, man. It's just, the list goes on, man. I can sit here for 30 minutes and just name from the, coaching staff to the players that I'm excited to play with. You know, I know you don't want to hear me talk about this, so I'm just excited. Kelsey Conway, AtlantaFalcons.com. Hey, I wanted to um, ask you a couple questions about the return part of your game. How much did your background in track help you um, kind of navigate that role for yourself, and, and what exactly did you do as um, a track athlete? I just did track really just to stay in shape for football, you know, because it was a, I mean, I was in high school, you know, I did 11th and 12th grade running track. And when I went to junior college, I committed to Tennessee. So I just, I just ran track, but, you know, I did like the four by one long jump, the hundred, something like that. I mean, I don't know. People always try to say I'm fast because I ran track. But I, don't, I don't believe that. I believe I was already fast and you can do freakish things without without running track so i don't think they had nothing to do with it i mean it was fun not running track you know i miss it but i don't think it had anything to do with it. this football stuff what is my, that, my what's your mentality when you're getting ready to return a kick is there a specific like headspace you go to when you're back there touchdown <laughs> you don't know if you're gonna get a touchdown if you don't return a kick so that's that's kind of the reason i always bring the ball out 9d 8d you know, sometimes I don't get it past the 25, you know, if I take a knee. So, but you never know if you're going to score if you don't return the ball out. So that's just the confidence I have. And I know Coach Williams, you know, he, he feels the same way. You know, we've been talking and we're bringing it out. I mean, that's, that's just something I've been doing my whole life. And I'm trying to score a touchdown, I'm trying to keep offense off the field as much as I can. And, you know, getting a guy like Matt Matt Ryan, you know, getting the ball plus 40, 50 with him and see the things he did, that's, that's just a plus for the offense. Thanks. D. do you have any follow-ups for Cordell? I uh, know, uh, no, no, I don't, John. Thank you, thank you, Cordell. Appreciate your time today, sir. Appreciate that, y'all. Tori, you got anything? Yeah, just one more for me. Um, I wanted to go back to to something that you said, which I thought was a really great quote. You said he doesn't care who you are, and you were talking about Arthur Smith. When you have a coach who's sitting there and who is having like that almost accountability sense. It's like, doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter where you've come from. From I want to put the best people out on the field. What does that mean to you as a player? And why does that make you want to go out and play for somebody like that? Honestly, I would think it's like, it's, it's, he's not judging anyone. You know, we all have our background. We all different. Like some guys there right now working out and some guys not, you know, I'm not, you know, I just had a newborn. So I'm here with the kids, you know, we got four kids here. So I want to spend much time as I can with the kids. So you got some guys probably don't have kids. They there working out. So it's like he's not going to judge us because we there or not. So I mean, we all getting it working, you know. And we all pros. I've been in, through it going on my ninth year, so I know what to do. I know how to handle that that situation. So Coach Smith just said, just be yourself. You know, you can't be here. He's not gonna he's not gonna judge you off that. So as long as you get that job done on Sundays, and Mondays, and Thursdays, <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> 